Hello there and welcome back. Today's episode is going to be quite a special one as we will be constructing a bathhouse inspired by Spirited Away, which was recommended by one of the viewers a few episodes ago. So Hannah wrote us a very lovely comment and gave us a great idea to build this bathhouse over here. And as soon as you mentioned it's from Spirited Away, I knew straight away that I definitely have to build this as it is an absolutely amazing anime. I hope you all have already seen it. If you haven't, I definitely recommend giving it a try even if you usually don't watch animes because it does have a very beautiful story so thank you so much Hannah for sharing this amazing idea and we'll definitely try our best to build this up here now full disclosure it is not going to be a replica it is going to be inspired by the bathhouse now before we jump into the build there are at least three problems that we do have so if you bring back the UI problem number one will be the access so as you most likely already have seen in the previous episodes as well this area is quite tricky to get to it's almost at the border level of uh, of our access from the town center now fortunately there was an easy fix for that and we've just uh, relocated the district center to the middle of this little reservoir that we do have in here so if we highlight the district center we can see that we can we do have a bit of extra reach over here, but then again, I don't suppose it's going to be enough to get the whole build in place here. But not to worry, we can always move it a little bit closer. Yes, we are going to lose then access to a few other buildings, but I think we might be fine. I've also cleaned up this area a little bit as well. I didn't want to leave it in the video itself because it's uh, it's pretty boring. All we did was just delete the buildings and try and clean this area up to the best of our ability. I mean, yes, there are a couple of uh, rubble piles still over here, but that's okay we'll clean it up later okay so that's uh problem number one that's already sorted now second one is water right now we have eight pumps over here and six are operational so they are quite important for the survival of our colony which means we are gonna have to create another tank somewhere else so i do want to say it's a temporary solution but you'll never know i think right now what we are gonna do is a good time lapse about how we block this area in here and as the rainy season is about to start in 3.5 days we should be able to fill up the the whole tank and then be safe in the future okay so that's uh, that's the solution for problem number two so let's do a quick time lapse how we get this built So the water reservoir is finally complete, very lovely indeed. Yes, it does not have the dams and we've uh, not connected it up very properly. But uh, I'm just thinking, I'm not entirely sure if we want to make this any any bigger or not, or higher is what I mean. So right now, yeah, I think it's fine if we don't have the dams in place. And once we do need them, we can just take out a couple of sections and place one or two times probably somewhere here i suppose but okay so all we have to really do now is just to construct a couple more platforms in here put the water pumps on top of them and automate it perhaps as well so once we do run out of this water then we could use this one here instead or actually never mind yes we are going to automate it but but we'll have to have them online pretty much 24 for 7 actually 16 7 because we're only working 16 hours a day it seems okay uh, the drought itself only 14 days well i guess it was more like 20 days because it took a few extra ones to get it completed but that that's fine during the next drought this one will be nicely filled to the brim so we should be all good actually keeping this in mind we might even want to do a double stack in here 
No, I think we're fine actually. We do have enough water. Well, anyways, we'll be we'll be fine. Now the other slight problem that we are going to have is the speed at which this bathhouse is going to be constructed and that's due to the location of our industries. So for example, our logging industry is pretty far away and all those log piles that we do have here, it's quite a long distance for the for the beavers to carry it over. And same with the metal as well. It's a, it's a very long distance to go from here up the mountain over and straight to the other side where our bathhouse will be will be constructed here. So what I have quickly done, I've placed down a few industrial log piles over here and also a medium warehouse that is filled with explosives because we do have to lower this reservoir a little bit for the whole design to fit in there. So yeah, as long as our haulers bring the resources over very quickly, we shouldn't have any problems. I mean, right now I can see, it. yes, they are empty, but perhaps we set them to obtain resources instead. So hopefully, We'll get them filled up very quickly indeed. All right, so that's the three problems that we did identify immediately. Of course, there's going to be some more later, but essentially we are hopefully going to have some resources that will be closer to us. Reservoir is in place and we also have a district center a little bit closer to us. So now I'm just going to put in the blueprint for our bathhouse design and then we shall be getting straight into the time lapse.
Alright, so there we go. That took quite a bit of time, but the bathhouse is finally complete. So I'll pause the time real quick uh, just to do a nice little bathhouse tour as well. But before we get there, I do want to highlight a couple of things. So the build itself was pretty big and took a very long time. I think in total, probably a full day. Now, whilst we were doing the time lapse, I had to actually pause it halfway through because we ran out of planks, but we also had to construct a few extra things, such as industrial log piles over here, yep, especially for planks. Then I think, yeah, population went up as well, so we made a couple of temporary houses. I'm not sure if we are going to keep them, but yeah, we, we needed a bit of extra. Then this area is pretty much the same. We did pause the production, actually. I think everything except one is operational there and same in here as well we're not producing dynamites and only one gear workshop okay now up on the hill water was also an issue and I, th I think there was a moment where we didn't have water for like one or two days almost so what we did is we built as many medium tanks all around the colony wherever we can find a bit of extra space then uh, yeah we needed some more haulers as well right now yep we've got a few vacancies but I think it was they were useful when the water pumps were paused and we had no more water so then they could jump into the hauling station instead. Okay so I think it is time to do a quick little tour so first of all from the outside this is what it looks like we'll do a quick uh, loop around the bathhouse itself and just like in the anime as well when we come to the front over here the way we access the bathhouse is via those bridges over here and then we have two little gardens now on the left hand side because we don't have dirt yet i couldn't put any trees in here but we will most definitely do it in the future once we do have terraforming now moving towards the right through the gates over here we do have a tree some some flowers here as well and a little little tower here Okay, now if we were to go towards the into the left side, we do have like a little backside entrance that leads all the way to the water. All right, so let's take a quick look inside as well. We'll bring back the UI, bring all the levels down. Okay, so at the bottom level, now just like in the anime as well, the bottom level or the lowest level is kind of like a maintenance and for the workers. So to make it look fairly similar, I placed those bumps in here. And yes, right now they're not very operational and I think in the long term as well because it's kind of like wasted space in here we could potentially change this around a little bit now we can actually do that because they are not connected to the rest of the build as in uh, they are just on the platforms and everything else is they're kind of like separate levels so we should be fine to rip most of it out the bumps and the platforms in here if we wanted to change okay so moving up the main entrance as we walk through it couple more levels there we go and one more so the first level is actually for people or the beavers to go and clean themselves up now the reason why we put flowers in here and not the decoration blocks is it seemed that in the anime as well they didn't really have a lot of privacy so so i thought that uh, flowers will make this area look a little bit nicer so yeah with the double showers we should have enough of them for all the beavers and if we wanted to have a couple of extra ones we could always remove a few shrubs and replace them with the with the showers of course at the main entrance here we do have a ladder that takes us to the next level all right so if we go up a little bit more i'll zoom out as well actually let me just hide the ui for a second Okay, so this is our mud bath section over here and unfortunately we cannot build them because we don't have any any dirt. So as soon as we do get our hands on it, we'll definitely have this operational as well. And let me bring back the UI real quick. We do have them connected to power as well. Well, not yet, but the infrastructure is in place. And there is a cable that runs outside the house so we can quickly and easily connect it up as soon as we get them built of course okay now once the beavers have had their fun over here and cleaned themselves up they can go up another level so this is kind of like the the viewing deck and we do have quite a lot of those rooftop terraces over here so that should be plenty for for everyone okay we'll go up a another level so that's what it looks like from the outside as well uh if we can slowly rotate around all right there we go and for the higher paying customers we actually do have some more viewing platforms with safety handrails in here as well and uh, yeah a bit more i guess they just get some nicer views in here as long as they you know do pay us a bit of extra as well and then uh, their roof bits 
it does not look exactly like the like the Japanese roofs but yeah unfortunately in the game they aren't low enough so it doesn't look exactly the same but hey that's the closest we can we can make it so and at the top we just have this little tower just like in the anime itself as well and all around the building I'm sure you've noticed I tried to copy the location of those little like windows wherever they were I mean they're not exactly the same but that's the closest we could do and then some of the rules yes they are different as well so same thing again I tried to copy what the um, how the rules were in anime and with the colors themselves of course we can't change any colors so they do look yeah little little gray I suppose okay so that's pretty much the end of the tour I'll let the time run a little bit as well so we can see what it looks like during the night time because the all the rooftop terraces they they will light up a little bit and then it looks even cooler all right any second now it's almost night time now with the lights themselves as well as you can see they do light up a little bit unfortunately Unfortunately, they're not quite as bright as the campfire ones, but still, from the distance, it kind of looks pretty cool. It was super fun doing this build over here, so in the future as well, if you have some ideas, anything cool that we should try and build in this city, then do drop a comment below and we might just build it in the, in the future. For the time being, I think that's going to be the end of this episode, so thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed as well, and we'll see you in the next episode.